Hi, this is Mike Green, and in this video we'll see how to install Sunset Strings. It's pretty easy, but if you've never installed an instrument with native access before, then watching this video should make things a little bit easier. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is click this Download Files button in the email we sent you. That takes you to the download page. This download button here downloads the installation guide, which you might want, although this video explains the same things, so you can skip that. Then here you'll see this video instructions link, which that's the video you're watching right now, so I guess you already clicked it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is install Native Access. Once we have Native Access, it installs everything automatically for us. So click this download link, or in the PDF instructions, click this link, or just Google Native Access. Any of those methods will take you to this download page for Native Access. Choose the Mac or PC button, and it starts to download. Then we double-click the installer, which creates the Native Access app. Then drag it into our Applications folder. So let's look in our Applications folder. Hey, there's Native Access right there. I'll double-click to open it up. Since this is the first time, my Mac is asking if I trust Native Instruments. I do, so I click Open. It wants to install a helper tool, which is also OK. And here's this update page, so I click OK on that one too. And here we are at the login page. If you already have an account, then sign in. Otherwise, we'll create a Native ID account. Name, email address, password, checkbox. OK, we're in. Now, we haven't installed anything yet, but we're about to, so go right here to where it says Add a Serial. Click that. And here is where we put in the Sunset Strings Native Access serial number. So where do you get that serial number? Go back to our Sunset Strings download page. Right here, under where it says Sunset Strings, are these license keys. The first is Native Access serial number. So copy that, then paste it here. Now click this Add Serial button. Success! Sunset Strings is now registered. But it's not installed yet, so as you can see in these instructions, we need to visit the Products Not Installed tab. And here we are. So we scroll down to find Sunset Strings. There it is. So now we click this Install button. Now, here's where Native Access has already chosen where it wants to install everything. If you want to make things easy, just click the Confirm button. Especially for the download location and the application location, it's best to leave those where they are. But if you want to get fancy for where the Sunset Strings content folder is, you can select your own location here. Just click this Browse button. Maybe you want to put Sunset Strings into a Realitone folder, or maybe into a Contact Libraries folder, or maybe you just want to put it directly on the desktop. Wherever you want is fine. I'm setting mine to Desktop. You can always move it later, so don't worry too much about this. So whether you leave it at the default location, or whether you chose your own location, click the Confirm button. And now it starts downloading. Sunset Strings is 13 gigabytes, so this might take a while. Once it finishes downloading, then it automatically starts installing. So we keep waiting. Success! Sure enough, here on my desktop is the Sunset Strings folder. OK, we've got one more step. Sunset Strings runs inside the Contact Player, so we also need to install that. So in this same Not Installed section, we scroll up to find Contact Player. While we're here, you'll notice that Native Instruments also loaded you up with some free stuff. Honestly, I don't know what most of this stuff is, but later on, you'll probably want to download this Contact Factory selection. There's a bunch of good stuff in there. But for now, we're just going to load Contact Player. So click the Install button. And it does its downloading thing. And now it's installing. Boom! Done! So now, go to your Applications folder, Look for a Native Instruments folder, and a Contact folder, and there's Contact 6 Player. Let's fire it up. Now, it starts us with the Preferences page. We can skip all these, but we do want to check the Audio Preferences. That's where we choose our audio interface. I don't have an interface for this laptop computer, so I'm just using headphones here. So I'll leave this set to Internal. But of course, if you have an audio interface, set it to that. The other thing I need to set is the keyboard. 
Contact automatically recognizes that I have a complete control keyboard, but I need to actually tell Contact to use it. So I go here to turn it on. Now, Contact doesn't have on, they just have ports. It's kind of weird, but I always just choose port A and that does the trick. You can always change preferences later, of course. So now I'll close this and there's the contact interface with sunset strings in the libraries tab. To open it up, click this instruments button to display the instruments and double click the sunset strings NKI. And now we see the last step. We need to enter the unlock code. Where do you get that unlock code? Well, let's head back to our download page. Right under the native access serial number is the unlock code. In this case, it's 8675309. Oh, 8675309. Oh. Now, click this submit button, and there we are. Sunset Strings is now at our fingertips. One handy thing to know is that if you go to this button at the top, you can show or hide various elements of the contact interface. The one thing I want to see right now is the keyboard, so I select it, and there it is. Another handy trick is that if you click this button here, you can access the Sunset Strings manual as well as our NKS knobs guide. They also exist in this documentation folder, but this is a quick and easy way to access them. So now you're an expert. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy Sunset Strings.